Thank you for purchasing a Well Challenge SureTemp Plus thermometer. SureTemp Plus provides accurate oral temperatures in approximately 4 seconds. Adult axillary temperatures for patients 18 years and older in approximately 15 seconds. Pediatric axillary temperatures for patients 17 years and younger in approximately 10 seconds. And rectal temperatures in approximately 10 seconds. Please spend a few minutes with this program to get familiar with your thermometer. Please also refer to your operator's manual to review its features and to check the safety warnings and cautions associated with its use. The SureTemp Plus comes in two versions, Model 690 and Model 692. Both models feature a large, easy-to-read LCD display, recall of the last temperature taken, Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion, easy mode selection, and built-in probe cover storage. The Model 692 offers additional features, including a programmable ID field to label the thermometer, backlit display to help view results in dim light, pulse timer to time pulse and respiration, a wall-mounted holder for secure storage, and two anti-theft security modes. In this program, we'll demonstrate use of the Model 692. The Model 690 controls and indicators work the same way. Begin your use of the thermometer by attaching the probe connector. A probe with a blue ejection button and blue probe well are used for oral or axillary temperatures. A probe with a red ejection button and a red probe well are used for rectal temperatures. Attach the probe connector, making sure it's secure. Next, insert the removable probe well into the thermometer. Then place the probe in the well. Insert a box of Welch Allen disposable probe covers into the storage well of the thermometer. Use only Welch Allen probe covers to ensure accurate temperature readings. Let's take a closer look at the Sure Temp Plus buttons and indicators. The display provides information about temperature, sight, and any error conditions that may occur. Display symbols are listed on the back of the SureTemp Plus. Refer to your operator's manual for more information about them. Press the C2F button after removing the probe or taking a temperature to switch between temperature scales. You can convert from one scale to the other any time after a temperature measurement is displayed or recalled. The Model 692 has a built-in timer for use when checking pulse or respiration. With the probe in the well, press the Pulse Timer button. The display counts up and the thermometer beeps at 15 second intervals. The timer turns off after 60 seconds. You can stop the timer by pushing the button a second time or by removing the probe from the well. The SureTemp Plus can take temperatures in oral, adult axillary, pediatric axillary, rectal, or monitor mode. Press the Mode Selection button after removing the probe from the well, but keep in mind the thermometer will only go into rectal mode when the probe with the red ejection button and red probe well are installed. Press the Recall button with the probe in the well to view the last temperature taken and the mode that was used. Use the probe with the blue ejection button and the blue probe well when taking an oral temperature. Hold the probe handle collar with your thumb and forefinger, being careful to avoid holding or pressing the ejection button and withdraw the probe from the well. Verify that oral mode is selected. If this indicator is not displayed, press the mode selection button until it appears. Insert the probe into a Welch Allen probe cover pressing the probe handle down firmly. The ejection button pops up when the probe cover is properly seated. Place the probe under the patient's tongue on either side of the mouth in the rear sublingual pocket and have the patient close their lips around it. Measurements outside the sublingual pockets will result in lower readings. To get the most accurate reading, the patient should not smoke, 
eat or drink hot or cold food or beverages for at least 20 minutes before taking their temperature. Hold the probe in place, keeping the tip of the probe in contact with the oral tissue during the entire measurement process. Urge the patient to avoid breathing through the mouth or speaking. Rotating walking segments appear on the display, indicating that measurement is in progress. When a final oral temperature has been reached in about four seconds, the unit beeps and the temperature displays. Remove the probe from the patient's mouth and note the temperature, which remains on the display for 30 seconds or until you place the probe back in the well. Eject the probe cover by pressing the ejection button and place the probe back in the well. Use the probe with the blue ejection button and the blue probe well when taking an axillary temperature. Remove the probe from the well and verify that the correct axillary mode is selected. If not, press the mode selection button until the correct indicator appears. Adult axillary mode for patients 18 years and older and pediatric axillary mode for patients 17 years and younger. Insert the probe into a Welch Allen probe cover, pressing the probe handle down firmly. Lift the patient's arm and place the probe as high as possible in the axilla, keeping it vertical or aligned with the patient's spine. Lower the patient's arm, making sure the probe tip is completely surrounded by axillary tissue, and hold the patient's arm at their side for the entire measurement, avoiding movement of the arm or probe. Walking segments appear indicating that measurement is in progress. Prolonged exposure of the axilla to ambient air can cause inaccurate readings. You should also keep the probe tip from contacting electrodes, wires, tape, or clothing. When the final axillary temperature has been reached in about 10 to 13 seconds for pediatric patients and 12 to 15 seconds for adults, the unit beeps and the temperature displays. Remove the probe from the patient's axilla and note the temperature, which remains on the display for 30 seconds, or until you place the probe back into the well. Eject the probe cover and place the probe back in the well. Adult axillary temperatures are taken the same way, using the adult axillary mode. Use the probe with the red ejection button and the red probe well when taking a rectal temperature. With the rectal probe and probe well installed, the thermometer only operates in rectal mode, and no other modes can be selected. To reduce cross-contamination, wear gloves and cover the probe handle with your gloved hand while taking a rectal temperature. Insert the probe into a probe cover and apply a thin coat of lubricant to the probe tip if desired. Gently insert the probe no more than 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch inside the rectum, less for infants and children. Hold the probe in place throughout the entire measurement, keeping the thermometer and probe cord away from patient contact. Walking segments appear on the display when the final rectal temperature has been reached in approximately 10 seconds. The unit beeps and the temperature displays. Remove the probe from the patient's rectum and eject the probe cover. Note the temperature, which remains on the display for 30 seconds, or until you place the probe back in the well. Be sure to wash your hands after taking a rectal temperature to reduce the risk of cross-contamination and nosocomial infection. If contamination occurs, wipe down the thermometer, probe, and probe cord with an approved disinfectant. If you suspect that the probe well is contaminated, remove it and then disinfect or replace it. Most of the temperatures you take will be in predictive mode. However, you may sometimes have difficulty getting a reading. If so, use monitor mode, which measures and displays the temperature for as long as the probe remains in place. Monitor mode measurement begins the same way as predictive mode. Use the correct probe and probe well, blue for oral and axillary temperatures, red for rectal. Insert the probe into a Welch Allen probe cover and select the desired mode. 
Place the probe in the patient's sight, following the directions mentioned earlier in this program. Hold the probe in place during the entire temperature measurement. When a final predictive temperature has been reached, the unit beeps and the temperature displays. Hold the probe in position and press and hold the Mode Selection button until the Monitor Mode indicator appears. Keep the probe in place for the required amount of time for the selected patient site. Continuous monitoring beyond 3 to 5 minutes is not recommended in any mode. Use the timer in the upper left of the screen to time the monitor mode measurement. The thermometer will not beep to indicate a final temperature. It is important to note the temperature before removing the probe from the patient's site and ejecting the probe cover. The temperature reading for a monitor mode measurement is not maintained in memory and cannot be recalled with the recall button. Once the probe is placed back in the well, the instrument will return to predictive mode. Your SureTemp Plus will provide years of trouble-free service with minimal regular maintenance. Clean the probe well on a regular basis, being sure to remove it from the thermometer for cleaning. Swab the inner surface of the well with a solution approved by your facility. Do not use hard or sharp objects. Disinfect the thermometer, probe, and probe well with isopropyl alcohol, 10% bleach, or other solution approved by your hospital according to your facility's policy, or whenever contamination occurs. Avoid soaking the thermometer or probe in any type of fluid. You can, however, place the probe well in mild detergent solution for cleaning. Do not use steam, heat, or gas sterilization on any of the SureTemp Plus components. Dry all surfaces thoroughly before reassembling the thermometer. Reconnect the probe. Reinstall the probe well and place the probe back in the well. Replace the batteries when you see the low battery symbol. Press the grips on each side of the storage compartment to remove the battery door. Remove all three batteries and replace them with new ones matching the polarity of each battery to the symbols inside the compartment. Snap the cover back on and replace the probe cover box. Except for the batteries, your SureTemp Plus thermometer contains no user serviceable parts. Contact a Welch Allen Authorized Service Center if you have any other problems. This section covers features available only on the Model 692. Your biomedical engineer should refer to the SureTemp Plus service manual to set these features up. Temperature count sets the number of measurements the thermometer can take before it goes into an alarm state. Off, 25, 50, 100, or 200 readings. If the count is set to off, the alarm is disabled. When the thermometer reaches the final five allowed readings, it displays SEC along with the number of uses remaining. When the thermometer records the last allowed reading, it beeps for 10 seconds, displays SEC, and is disabled. Return the instrument to the wall holder to reset the security count. The Instant On feature triggers an alarm within five seconds of removing the thermometer from the wall holder. When the alarm begins, the thermometer beeps continuously and displays SEC. To turn off the alarm, press the Mode Selection button while removing the probe from the well. You need to do this within 30 seconds of removing the instrument from the wall holder. Take as many temperatures as necessary and then return the thermometer to the wall holder to place it back in the alarm ready state. The Model 692 provides a seven-character ID field for customized identification of the instrument. This feature helps you track thermometers and assign them to specific locations in your facility. At Welch Allen, we're confident you'll enjoy using your SureTemp Plus, another high-quality thermometer designed for years of trouble-free and accurate operation. Thanks for watching.